to, I want you to start viewing yourself as an, an emotional battery. Um, you already know that certain things charge your battery and certain things deplete your battery. And as an interesting side note, biologically you are a battery in the, in the fullest sense of the term. Um, you're a uh, electrochemical bioorganism. And uh, that's how the cells communicate with one another through ele electricity and chemicals. And the juice in your battery are minerals. But that's a side note. Um, talking about the emotional battery analogy now. You will have certain things that charge your battery. For example, um, certainly engaging in your special interests will charge your battery. Good night sleep will charge your battery. Um, for those who meditate or get a massage or go to the gym or have a favorite hobby, those are just some examples. There would be dozens of more of that. Uh, there are certain things that you engage in that deplete your battery. You already know what most of those are probably. Um, if you don't particularly enjoy your work uh, and work is stressful, that's a depleter. Difficult conversations with her is a depleter. Doing anything that falls outside of your interest level is a depleter. Boredom is excruciating to people on the autism spectrum. And it's even kind of worse than that. It's actually an anxiety producing thing. When he is bored, this generic he, uh, it is uh, painful, emotionally painful. To, to withstand extended periods of boredom. An example of that would be idle chit chat. You go to a family dinner and there's, there's your family and they're all talking about shit that you have no interest in at all. And you try to hang in there and act like you care. And it's like, oh God, looking at your watch, I'm like, get out of here. Uh, work stress, marital stress, et cetera, or battery depleters. And so what I would like for you to do as an exercise, you don't have to do it now, of course, but I would like for you to spend a few moments later today, if you have time, uh, and write this out or use a, open up a Word doc and do it. Just make a few notes. Don't, you don't have to spend a lot of time on this because it'll vary from person to person. What, what depletes your battery? I would shoot for five things. What are, what are three to five things that you know for a fact depletes your battery? Uh, that's on one column. Let, make another column and what are some things that charge your battery? You will have some definite ideas. How will you know when your battery is low? Uh, well, let's make it in the context of the neurodiverse wife, since that's why you're here. You will know that your battery is running low when you start getting agitated, frustrated, defensive, start moving in the direction of a meltdown or a shutdown or false agreement where you just want to hurry up and agree with whatever she says to get her to hurry up and shut up. Um, or if you're just mad and, and going off on her that way with uh, a little bit of an adult temper tantrum, you know for sure that you're reaching the point of depletion. How will you know when your battery's charged? Uh, you'll be calm, probably won't feel much of anything. You'll just know I'm okay inside. Um, when I'm charged, I feel relaxed, I don't have any aches or pains. I'm not ruminating about things that are worrisome to me. I'm not remembering unwanted past events. I'm not worrying about future unwanted events. I'm just kind of okay. So what depletes your battery? What charges your battery? You want The whole point of this conversation is you've got, if you want to work on the marriage, which obviously you do, you wouldn't be here. She's got to have some of that battery life. If we wanted to put a percentage on it, which I think I do, and this may seem low to some of you, I'm gonna say approximately 10% of your battery. Actually, some of you may think that's high. So out of a 12 hour day, we're assuming that you're recharging your battery through sleep. And let's just assume that you're up 12 to 14 hours a day. Five to 10% of that battery life really needs to be used with her. Most of that energy for her really is going to be in the form of conversation. That's how you're going to be spending a small percentage of your energy with her. It's going to be in conversation. I want you to get familiar with when you're charged and I want to get you familiar with when you're depleted. I'd like for you to save 10% for her, 5 to 10%. And here's the punchline. I want you to get very good at knowing when your battery feels low so you can tactfully dismiss yourself and recharge. 
Um, and, and if you've done this little assignment ahead of time, well, like I've asked you to do on a piece of paper or Word doc, you already kind of know when you're feeling depleted. That was the first step in the assignment. What depletes my battery? How will I know when I'm starting to get depleted? How will I know when I'm charged? So save some of your battery for her. She might accuse you of never spending any of your emotional energy with her. That's what we're talking about here. This battery is an emotional battery. She might accuse you of not spending any emotional energy. In the moment that you're noticing, okay, I know I'm starting to feel depleted because I did this little assignment and the thing that I wrote on that piece of paper is exactly what I'm going through now. So I need to tactfully dismiss myself so I can go recharge a bit. I don't necessarily have to go back and recharge 100%, but I need to at least go back and get up to like 50, 60%. If it's nothing particularly crucial that's going on with her in the moment, there's nothing wrong with saying, I'm just feeling a little stressed out right now. I'm going to go in there and watch a video or something or, and, and kind of uh, collect my marbles and then I'll be back. But this has nothing to do with you. So you're letting her know, I need a little bit of a timeout. It's not anything that she said or did. But uh, the, the big point is for you to catch your battery life before it hits zero. Because as soon as it does that, you're at a Mac Daddy risk for meltdown, shutdown, dull temper tantrum, shit hitting the fan in general. Even if she's talking to you about a difficult day at work and she's complaining about somebody else has nothing to do with you, even that will run your battery down fast. It's like your cell phone and you're playing videos and you're playing games and you're talking on the phone all three at the same time, that battery goes, mm. Well, that's the perfect time to say, okay, I want to hear the full meal deal. I want to, I want to get every, because it's important to you, therefore it's important to me. But right now, my battery is low and I'm not digesting everything that you're saying. Let me take a little brief time out to recharge and I'll come back and, because I want, I want to hear the entire thing. That would be a very loving, caring, empathic, compassionate thing to do.